Cheese, potatoes, more cheese. A deep fryer. Cuatro quesos los fritos! I am on the express track to delicious junction. <laughs> Here's the best part. They're very healthy for us. I don't even care that's not true. Are you kidding me? All the major cheese groups are represented. Yellow, orange, and white. Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to Benching with Babish, where this week all the major cheese groups are being represented in Cuatro Quesos Dos Fritos, starting with cheddar, low-moisture mozzarella, smoked gouda, and Monterey Jack. I figured this would give us a healthy mix between cheesiness and meltiness, cheddar and gouda being responsible for flavor, while mozzarella and Monterey Jack are on melt duty. Now onto the potatoes, and I chose very small potatoes because I honestly don't think that it's possible to to cook the giant potatoes that Sean was using all the way through without massively overcooking or burning the exterior. So as you can see, I'm balling up little bits of our shredded cheese, stuffing the potatoes with them, and securing them with toothpicks. How these are not going to explode in the deep fryer is beyond me, but we're gonna give it a shot. We've got a quart of vegetable oil preheated to 350 degrees Fahrenheit, and we're gonna fry these babies for about seven or eight minutes until they are browned, and predictably, some cheese is shooting out the side. Let them cool completely, and we're going to do a double breading process using Chef John's ingenious wet hand dry hand technique that is only use one hand to handle the egg and one hand to handle the dry ingredients. We're starting with flour followed by egg wash then breadcrumbs then another egg wash and then another layer of breadcrumbs. This is going to make sure that we don't lose any more cheese. Deep fry for an additional six to seven minutes until deeply golden brown. Now for these to become way too much for the human palate to manage we need to serve them with a ancho sour cream. So simply enough, we're gonna combine some sour cream with some dried ancho chili. This stuff is pretty awesome and I would recommend serving it with any potato dish. In the show, the potatoes appear to be served upon a pool of sour cream that has been sprinkled with bacon. This bacon has been oven roasted as usual, 375 degrees Fahrenheit for 20 to 25 minutes until nice and crisp. Now we're gonna stack this high with what look like cute little scotch eggs, but are kind of like scotch potatoes with cheese instead of eggs and potato instead of sausage, so not scotch eggs at all. And as I suspected, these potatoes are inherently flawed. Yukon Gold potatoes get kind of gummy when you deep fry them and don't have that french fry-like texture that we want. What we need are russet potatoes, and unfortunately russet potatoes don't come in Cuatro Quesos Dos Fritos size, so we're going to roast three of these and we're gonna make mashed potato croquettes out of them. So we want as little moisture in these potatoes as possible, so while they're still piping hot, cut them open and let them cool for 15 to 20 minutes so a lot of steam can escape. Then while they're still warm, we're gonna run them through a potato ricer on its finest setting. Add two or three tablespoons of chopped butter, small pieces because we want this to melt completely in the potatoes while they're still a little bit warm, but this should simultaneously cool them off enough so we can add a whole egg. We're also going to season liberally with kosher salt and freshly ground pepper, and you can add flour if the egg made your potatoes too soft to handle. Don't be embarrassed, it happens to lots of guys. Mix until thoroughly mixed, cover with plastic wrap so the cling film is right down on the surface of the potatoes, and chill for at least 30 minutes or until firmed up. Meanwhile, I'm gonna cube some sharp cheddar that we're going to wrap in potato, coat in flour, followed by eggs, and then I'm gonna go panko breadcrumbs with these. I think we only need to do one layer of breading because of the seamless nature of the mashed potato. We're also gonna fry these guys at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for five to seven minutes until browned and crisp. As you can see, we experienced a little bit of cheese leakage, but not too much. I think we're gonna be fine. Season generously with kosher salt, and once again, place atop a bed of our ancho sour cream and some crispy chopped bacon. Now, I know that these guys are solo uno queso y uno frito, but I I think that we're in for a much better textural experience while maintaining the flavor explosion that Gus and Sean originally envisioned. Now I do wish that I had gone with four cheeses because as you can see cheddar is not the best melter in the world but let's see how it tastes. Fluffy mashed potatoes, melted cheese, zesty sour cream and bacon. It's delicious. Shocker. And the best part is they're very healthy for us.